I think that would probably be the, the main view, that there is just um, consciousness is nothing but brain processes. If we think about the relationship between uh, the mental and the brain or consciousness and the brain, I suppose probably the main view uh, on offer would be a reductionist view that consciousness really is nothing uh, above or beyond or more than neural goings on. Um, there's, there's, not, uh, there's not something special or different um, about consciousness than digestion <laughs> or, or it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a neurological, biological phenomenon uh, like any other biological phenomenon. Um, I think that would probably be the, the main view that there is just um, Consciousness is nothing but brain processes. And then we could, you know, there are different facets of consciousness and we could talk about the different neural goings on that are those conscious experiences. I think that would probably be the main model. Uh, the, another model would be that, that consciousness is not reducible to brain processes and it is something over and above brain processes. It's caused by brain processes, wholly caused by brain processes, uh, neurochemical goings on between our ears, um, but it's not identical to those brain processes. Um, now spelling out just how that works is, is a bit of a mystery. Uh, we don't know exactly how it, how it goes, how it works, but um, if you start off with the assumption that there, if you start off with the assumption that there are no immaterial souls uh, or minds, then it makes sense that you would think that it is a material or biological process, uh, consciousness. Um, then it's just a matter of doing some hard research and figuring out exactly how we get from uh, sort of clusters of neural networks to consciousness. But that's, a, that's, a, that's an empirical question. There is another view, uh, another model that is, I think, really, really interesting. And for all I know, it could be true. And that is panpsychism, right? That at the bottom of everything is mental or proto-mental. And the material world or the physical world gets built up out of that. So um, I think that's a really um, intriguing view and it might in fact be, it might in fact be the truth of the matter. But, um, but I, I tend to be, uh, I tend to be a kind of materialist, I guess. So I, I, on certain days of the week, the panpsychism looks really appealing and on, but most of the time I, I stick with my materialism. <laughs> I'm not a reductionist myself. Um, uh, I tend to think, I tend to embrace a view that is known in the literature as um, a neutral monism. I think at the bottom of the, of the nat of natural reality is physical stuff. And I think that um, we never can get at it. Um, we can't get that far down, or at least we haven't so far. And I think that, the, um, that this physical stuff has um, neutral uh, properties. They're not mental, they're, they're, they're not phenomenal, and they're not material, but they give rise to both the phenomenal and the material. And that is the level at which we get access. Um, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not a reductionist, but I, th I do think that um, 
at the at the bottom of the natural world is physical stuff. That would be that would be my view.